Canva is actually getting better and better. And in this tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to be exploring one of the coolest apps in Canva that can help you to modify your text and also help you to create stunning designs like never before. So don't go anywhere. Let's jump straight. In fact, wait, 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 wait. In fact, smash on the like button if you want to support this video. Okay. And yes, let's dive straight into the video and let's get started. Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, subscribing to this channel makes you an OG. And if you're wondering who an OG is, an OG is someone who always returns to learn something new about Canva. And if you're an OG, massive respect to you. I really appreciate you for the continued support. So let's get started. So in this video, we are going to be doing two main things. The first thing is we are going to explore the app together. And the second thing is I'm going to actually share some design ideas with you. When it comes to using this app, you always have a lot of ideas you can be able to flow with when it comes to this app so yes let's jump into canva and let's get started the first thing you need to do is to come into canva and create a new design okay so you can choose anything at all i can come to logo and that should create a blank canvas for me okay so everything should be loaded before you click anything make sure especially if your internet is slow relax you get it now that we have everything loaded what i'm going to do is i'll just come into apps and in apps you know we have all of this here you can see everything over here but we'll just come into this type box over here and just type type crafts okay or search for type crafts okay yeah so once you see type craft just click on it if you haven't used it before if it's your first time you should see an option like open so after it opens there are five main sections you should see and the first one is text second one is font we have style color and the edit shape okay so what are these options the first option which is the text it helps you to enter any text at all of your choice so i can just say amazing okay the second option is the font which um, helps you to choose any font type okay or any typeface for your text the third one is for the style we have the none we have the unfilled we have the outline all right and we have the color which means that you can basically choose any color of your choice for your text and this is for the edit shape section and that is where the magic happens okay but before we even start doing what we have to do this is how the whole thing works anything you do in the app okay it gets to be added on your design as an element so you can't actually edit the text in the blank canvas everything is done in the app so you can be editing and updating editing updating and you get to see everything um in real time okay so enough of the talking let me just show you what i'm actually talking about okay so when we come over here you know we have all of these points on the text or around the text that will help us to customize our text okay so you can see we have something like this if i click on add element to design it gets to be added on my design and anything i do like i said i can you know just edit everything over here lovely and click on update it should reflect over here and even if you click away don't be afraid you can always still go back and make some edits and what you can simply do is by clicking on the app and you should see it pop up over here okay or even if you're working multiple fonts once you click on the app you see edits okay then you can come in here and just modify your text you know simply and easy from here so you can see what i'm doing over here so this is how you can use the app and you can do so much with this app let's do something real with this particular app okay so i'm just coming to go let me just delete all of this okay Okay, and i'll go into my photos okay in my photo i will just search for tunnel okay so tunnel and we should see something beautiful you know pop up so there are so many things in here but what i'm going to look for is something like uh you know a wall you know a plain wall type of tunnel okay so something like this which is fine i can right click and i will set the image as you know background double click and i'll move things this way so now let's go back into the app so i'll come to apps and i should see type craft select it and we'll just see something like wall okay wall should be fine and once we have this i will just want to add my element first of all on my design so that i can see what i'm working with and i'll just change the font to any font at all so i think leaks pattern should work and maybe let's make this all caps so the bal no sorry look at me <laughs> B-A-L-L, okay, all caps, okay, lovely like that. Then let's update, okay, so we can update just to see what's happening, all right. Then I think the next thing I'll do is to change my color 
to something like this. Okay, so this is what we are going to do. We are trying to create a perspective design. Okay, so we are going to edit the text just so um, it gets to look as if it's printed on the wall. Let's see if this is going to be possible inside of Canva. Okay, so now that I've placed my text here, this should give me an idea on how I should arrange things. And this is what I love to do, especially when I was testing it out. That's what I did. So I know this side is larger. Okay, and this side is narrower. So it starts from a larger point and goes, you know, becomes narrow as it goes. So you get it. Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. This is what we are going to do. Come in here and I would increase my text something like this and increase it something like this. Okay. If I click on update, we can see what we are creating. Nice one. Now pull this down, the middle side down. Okay. And we have the last, you know, the last two points, something like this. So you can see that once we update, you know, it's looking are you playing what type of plane is this and there, there are some curves in there there are some curves in there if you want to make sure you're you know you're getting something straight this is what we are going to do we are going to be using these two points okay so you can just click and drag okay click and drag okay then we can bring this down here it helps you to create a straight line okay i'll share two with you that can help you master this tool okay then click and drag and click and drag okay so you can see what we have i'll click on update element and you can see we are creating something we are actually creating something i will move this up and update okay so yeah so it's now kind of like making a whole lot of sense. Okay, so we move this and move this and drag this. So yeah, so what we now have to do is basically just making sure everything is looking very fine. Okay, so something like this and I'll just speed up the whole process so I don't waste the time. Okay. All right, so you can see what we've been able to do. And what I can simply do is I can just click on this, come into my transparency and I can reduce the transparency. Okay, fantastic. So now let's see if we can do something over here. So I'll duplicate, okay, delete this and just make sure we have something like this. Okay, with the same image, let's see if we can create something. Okay, so I would just type, let's say modify. Okay, modify in here and we'll just choose any font at all. So Futura and i should come to add element to design okay so i'll place it on the floor over here and what we would want to do is we would want to stretch this part out okay so stretch this out okay and pull this down Alrighty, all right okay so this is what we have i would update it and i would bring this side in just tuck it in and tuck this side also in and you know just update so we can see what we are creating and we can increase the size just so we can get something clear so i will just do the same and do the same and let me just speed up the whole process And yes, fantastic. I know this is not perfect, but you can still get the idea of what I'm trying to do. So these are some of the things you can actually do with this particular app. And if I want to even go crazy with this particular design, what I can simply do is, you know, click here, come to transparency and reduce it a little bit. So it blends on the floor. And you know, these are some of the things you can actually do, but what are some design ideas? And these are a number of design ideas. So the first design idea is with what you see on my screen. So you can see how this has been out lined on the streets you know this is something i believe if you want to go very crazy about when it comes to this particular um, app you can actually create this type of designs with it and this second one which i think is looking very cool so fast and it almost looks impossible but trust me you this is possible if you really want to get it done inside of canva i think it's really possible to create this type of design inside of canva now and then we also have this particular one which i love so much you know it's just a two color design or like a dual tone color just with two colors um the yellow and the purple and i think i love how the text has been you know modified on this particular design and i believe this particular app now gives us the possibility to modify our text to achieve designs like this and last but not the least we also have this particular design noise and lights and you can see how you know the text has been modified to make it look as if um 
you know it's coming out of the ear so it's going inside the ear this is something i believe you can now do inside of canva this is some of the things you can actually do inside of canva and i hope i enlightened you on how to use this app and how to be creative when it comes to this app let me know what you think about this app in the comment section below the name is benjamin don't forget you can use canva pro for free if you are still on the free version of canva and always there's no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video yeah I started on a 50 mil lens now i'm about to bag 50 mil yen i can shoot all day i got stamina turtleneck on with my camera yeah stay creamy man that's what they say